but he's been to Vancouver Island, in British Columbia, and he was asking if there be a similar forest to here. The further north you get, and the temperate rainforest, the less diverse it becomes because the climate's a little tougher. The further south you go, on the other hand, the more diverse it becomes. However, there's a couple of things that you're going to see everywhere you go in a particular piece of rainforest, and this tree is one of them. Take your hands over here. Hi, <laughs> 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 Mr. Tree. <laughs> is it very friendly? No. no. <laughs> it's a spiny spruce. And that's one of the ways you can tell a spruce tree. They're, they're pokey when you, the needles are sharp on the end. Yeah. If somebody were to take me, blindfold me, turn me around 112,000 times and drop me someplace on planet Earth and I saw a such a spruce tree, I would know I was in the temperate rainforest because it is one of our two indicators that no matter where you are in the rainforest, from Kodiak Island in Alaska all the way to the Big Sur country in California, this tree is there. And it's one of the two indicators that we have indicated the This spruce tree is kind of interesting in what it's used for mostly today commercially is to turn it into paper. They just shred it into little pieces. Of rainforest. Anybody play piano? Me. Anybody own a piano? Anybody have a piano? <laughs> 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 on your piano.